first grade above the cubbies where we kept our snow boots and mittens, big Comic Sans letters spelled out remember to recycle and last one out turns off the light. These are the kinds of things recommended by science textbooks, blogs, and even the US Environmental Protection Agency as ways to reduce your personal impact on the climate. And they're pretty easy to do. On average, in the US, turning off the lights when you aren't in a room can save about a third a kilogram of carbon dioxide per day. Using a reusable shopping bag every time you go to the store saves five kilograms a year. Drying clothes on a line instead of in a dryer saves around 200 kilograms per year. But compare that to the average carbon footprint of a person in the US. 16 and a half tons a year. Tons. So what can you actually do to make a meaningful difference? Living car-free keeps 2.4 tons of carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere every year. But getting rid of your car maybe isn't feasible. People in rural or suburban areas have to drive more, but that's a big part of why they produce double the per capita emissions compared to people in urban areas. Driving an electric car can save about a ton of carbon dioxide a year, but that still doesn't have as much of an impact as just not driving. That will require big changes in how we live. Getting rid of your car is technically an individual choice, but it really requires cultural change. That isn't easy, but we've done it before. I can both vote and wear pants now. It's pretty amazing that we're able to hop on a plane and get anywhere in the world in a day. But try turning your next big holiday into a staycation. You could avoid up to 2.8 tons of carbon emissions by skipping that flight. But until we invent teleportation, flying is really the only fast way to travel long distances to see family and do business stuff. There's really no practical way to fly that doesn't put hundreds of kilograms of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. Globally, raising livestock is on par with transportation when it comes to greenhouse gases. But you and your neighbors are eating about 20% less beef than you were 15 years ago. That's kept 185 million tons of carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere. And today, one in 16 people in the United States say that they are vegan or eat plant-based diets. If you cut meat out of your diet, that's 800 kilograms of carbon dioxide kept out of the atmosphere every year. The choices you make about what you eat are ways to impact the climate every day. Quick recap. Get rid of your car, save 2.4 tons. Fly less, save up to 2.8 tons per trip. Stop eating meat, probably reduce your emissions by around a ton. But here's a really tough one. If you choose to have one fewer child, that saves on average 60 tons of carbon dioxide per year. This is far and away the most effective thing you or I or anyone in the developed world could do to reduce our emissions. I'm definitely not gonna stand here and tell you not to have children. Family planning is a family thing. And fewer kids is already the trend in most nations. As a population gets healthier and more educated, birth rates drop as a rule. These are all huge life changes that don't always come easy. There's a lot of culture wrapped up in what we eat, how we get around, and what our families look like. Here's a choice that's a little simpler. In a lot of places, families can choose to buy green energy that doesn't contribute to more emissions. This is surprisingly easy. For me, all I had to do was log into my account with my energy provider and select the renewables box. Now I get a monthly email telling me how much carbon dioxide I didn't put in the atmosphere. In some places, this may up your energy bill, but if you got some extra change lying around, I highly recommend throwing it at solar panels. But don't actually throw it at solar panels. From small and easy things like reusing shopping bags and turning out the lights to those more challenging high impact lifestyle choices like what we eat and how we travel. We all have real power to change our culture and respond to climate change in a meaningful way. Solving this isn't going to be up to any one of us. It'll be up to all of us. Thanks for watching Hot Mess. If you like what you see, please head over to our Patreon page. Your support will help us make more videos and offset the climate impact of those videos. And you'll get some exclusive stuff while you're at it. Click the Patreon button to learn more.